In today's video, we're going to be creating this mini project. It's called a profile uploader. So we can choose a file and then select an image. Let's say this one. And then I'm going to submit. And then there we go. So let's get started. So first, we're going to create our rag files for MPX. Great rag app. And I'm just going to call it prof picture. And there's two packages that we need, Firebase and uh, Material UI. So create our project and I'm just going to call it profile picture. And then continue. And then here, I'm going to do CD, CD prof picture, npm install Firebase then material UI. The reason why we're material UI is so that we can use this avatar uh, rounded profile picture. So let's go to getting started, installation, and then these three uh, packages. So let's go back to our command prompt, npm install Firebase, and then the three packages from material UI. Perfect, so I'm just gonna code that. If you're using VS Code, you can code that to open VS Code. So I'm just gonna do code that. So I'm just gonna remove the files that we don't need. Those files delete. I'm gonna remove everything inside index.css and also for app.css. I'm gonna go to index.css and I'm gonna select all elements and then apply a padding of zero and a margin of zero. Margin of zero. I'm gonna go inside public folder and then delete these files. Delete. I'm gonna go inside index.js and I'm gonna delete these codes. I'm gonna save it and then app.js, delete the header tag. And then the logo from logo SVG. So everything should be working. I'm gonna, just going to do H1, then hello world. Save. And then here I'm going to do npm start to make sure that everything is working. If your Fabius project is ready, so just click continue. And then select website. And then here I'm just going to call it prof picture. Register app. And then here we're actually going to get our config. So we've already installed our Firebase. All we have to do is get our config and then create a firebase.js file inside your React app. So firebase.js and then I'm just going to paste in the, the config. I'm just going to delete the comments and then there's actually one thing that we need to import inside firebase.js and that is the storage. In this tutorial, we're going to be using firebase storage. I've already went over authentication and real-time database in my past videos. If you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to leave links in the description. So cloud storage for Firebase, I'm going to select website here and then get started. So we need to import get storage right here. So let's go to our firebase.js and then import get storage and then export on storage and then get storage and then we're going to pass in our app right here. So app. So that's all we need in, inside uh, Firebase.js. I'm just going to uh, close this. And then here we're going to create a storage. Get storage. Next. Done. Once that's done, we have to go to rules and then change the false to true. Publish. And then uh, three things that we need here. So avatar. And then input and a button. Right? And for button, I'm just going to call it submit. And for type, it's not going to be text, it's going to be file, right? And then here, on change, handle, image, change. And then here, on click, I'm just going to call the function handle some. And then I'm going to save this, and then we need to create the two functions. So it will be handle image change. And then here, handle submit. And then we need to also import use state from react save now so we need to save our image file name so what we need to do is cons image set image equals state and it's going to be you know initially inside handle image change what we have to do is if we can pass in our e if e dot target the files the first one which is going to be our file name if that's not empty then we need to set image target e target the files zero now if we actually console log image if we go to our website and then let's select image so say uh, for this X right here and if we look at our console log will actually get this object right here right so this is what we need so i'm just gonna so let's go back to our code 
I'm just gonna remove this line and also I'm, go I'm gonna remove this H1 so you need to import storage from, from our Firebase file import storage then here I'm gonna also import three functions that we need to upload the image so first is the reference and then upload bytes and then get download URL this is going to be from Firebase storage save and then here inside the handle the submit we need to create a reference so I'm just going to do punt image ref equals ref and then we're going to pass in our storage and then the name of our file so image so this image is actually going to be the name inside our storage upload a picture the name is going to be image if we click submit we're going to create a reference and then here we're actually going to upload the file so upload bytes and then we're going to pass in our image ref and then here we're going to pass in the file that we want to upload which is going to be the image right here so image ref and then image then if that is successful we need to get the url right so get download url here we need to pass in the image ref one more time and then if that's successful we will get the url then here we will set url url then here we just need to create the state variable so url and then set url equals use state oh, uh, let's do a catch here so catch if then there's an error we just need to console log the error and I'm just gonna, I'm a, and here I'm going to be error getting the image URL save and also I'm going to do one more catch which is going to be for the upload bytes which is going to be right here I'm just going to copy this and paste that right there and then here I'm just going to uh, console log the uh, message error message save so everything should work perfectly one last thing after we submit we actually want to set image equals null so right here so after we get the um, URL all we need to do here is set image and then I'm just gonna put null so here one more thing that we need is the avatar so let's go back to uh, material UI and then I'm just gonna copy this make sure that you import material UI from material avatar and then grab this last avatar element which is going to be this one grab that and then paste that there and then here for the width and height I'm just gonna make it 150 pixel and make it pixel and then for the source is actually going to be the URL and then for the alt you can leave that blank or I'm just gonna remove it and everything should be working so let's go back to our website and let's test it out so I'm just gonna select the wall check picture which is right here and I'm just gonna click submit perfect so I have a challenge for you the problem here is that we also can upload our mp3 and then submit and then there you go so that's that's the problem here so we don't want to upload any uh, mp3 or anything like that we just want to upload images so that's a challenge for you so and one more thing if we if I'm, I'm gonna upload this picture I'm gonna click submit and then also upload this this X picture I'm gonna click submit if we go to our five storage and files and I'm gonna refresh we only get one image file right here so we actually want to get uh, if we are building like a Facebook social media we actually want a folder here for every user and then their profile picture uh, that's the challenge for you I'm actually doing a project right now which I will be uploading in the future uh, so I'll be making a, a messenger app using react and firebase authentication firestore and storage so if you like this video please consider subscribing I'm gonna be posting more videos like this and you don't want to miss that don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.